Allo Daybell's appeal. Her defense team filed a five page appeal notice late last week and brought up 16 different issues. They're asking the Idaho Supreme Court to review all aspects of her case from her guilty verdict to her final sentencing of life in prison. The appeal comes after her high profile murder trial wrapped up in July in Ada County. Vallow was found guilty of murdering two of her children, seven-year-old J.J. Vallow and 16-year-old Tylee Ryan. She was also found guilty of conspiring to murder her husband's late wife, Tammy Daybell. A judge sentenced Vallow to five terms of life in prison without a chance for parole. In the notice of appeal filed, Vallow's attorney asked the Supreme Court in Idaho to consider whether the judge made a mistake in finding Vallow competent to stand trial after she spent 10 months in a mental hospital. Former Idaho Attorney General Dave Leroy says it's an unusual request. It's not typical for a mental health issue to arise twice or three times in the same case. It's not typical for uh, a judge to have to rule in a mental health combat between defense psychiatrists and state psychiatrists as to whether or not a defendant is mentally competent to stand trial. Other than the two mental health issues raised, Leroy says the appeal is fairly standard. The notice of appeal is preliminary. Leroy says Vallow's lawyers can still add or drop any issues that they have with the case. The Idaho Supreme Court has final say on whether Vallow's case gets retried, but the appeal process could take up to two years to play out.